Hi, I'm Chris, and this is the November edition of Lim Focus, where we look at all of the things that our developers are working on this month. Um, I'm here with Matt from our development team. Hello. And this Lim Focus is a little bit smaller than usual because we've got kind of a release lockdown going, so we don't want to release too many things before Christmas. But we are working on a brand new feature at the moment. Matt's currently working on that feature with uh, Alex. Yep. And this is a complete overhaul of our open order screen. So it is a big feature that we're looking at at the moment. Um, so Matt, why have we why have we given this much attention to open orders? Why have we started uh, redeveloping it? So the open order screen, um, obviously it's the most used, well, we believe it's the most used part of the system. Mm -hmm. It's something you're in every single day. And you know, if it's not a nice experience, if it's not the slickest experience, we you know, can make it better. We can make it better, yeah. Cool. Okay, so let's just jump right in and have a look at what you've been working on. Yep. Um, how long have you and Alex been, been looking at this? How so we're probably... Just up to about a year now on this. Okay, so a year on a whole yep. feature, both you and Alex. Cool. Yep. So let's just jump in and have a look. Let's go to orders, open orders. I've got a beta one here. Yep. Um, so um, this is what it looks like at the moment. Still looks quite nice. Um, it still yeah. looks very similar to to the original to the open order screen we have. Um, any major differences in the in the design? Uh, so yeah, it's it's if you've used the existing open orders, it will be very familiar to you. Uh, one of the biggest things that will stand out, I think is sort of the amount of orders you're getting on screen mm. and there's a lot less sort of white space around uh, so we've tried to optimize it to get as much data on screen as possible yeah um, you know because that's actually what you want to look at cool yeah because I've noticed that the, the sort of the row heights uh, are standardized you've not got like really big orders and really small orders no so small. we've we've gone for a standardized row height mm -hmm. um, out of the box right now we can have our medium row height which is what you've got here this is a one order item on a row. Mm -hmm. We've got a large one, which is two items on a row. And what we'll do further down the line is we'll do a tiny row where you can get really basic information. So if you want 20 orders on the screen, just an order ID and it says 10 items, we'll give that to you. Cool. So you said this was a lot slicker, a lot easier to use. I'm guessing faster as well. Usually you don't make this no, slower. It's, so. <laughs> it's, it's very quick. Cool. I think we're quite proud of it. Um, so I've got some views at the top here. If I can swap over to all orders, which I've got 539 views in. Yeah. That does load really quick. Yeah. Um, and the last thing we want as well is buffering when we scroll. Um, we don't so want that at all. So let's see if we get any. As fast as I scroll, I cannot get, I cannot get the screen to buffer at all. It's going to load them faster than I can scroll through this screen. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. So nice and quick. Let's start from the top with the features then and look at what else we've added. Let's have a look at the search. So search looks a little bit different. We're not searching for specific things anymore. It looks like I can just put anything in there. Just put anything you want in there. If it's uh, if it's on the screen, in the view, um, you can probably find it. Cool. So I'm just going to search for a name. Tina. Okay. So it's found everything with T-I-N-A in the name, but also the items as well. Yep. Cool. So it's it search for everything. Is it only look? Is it only going to look in the view that I'm in? So the first thing it's going to do to try and keep it quick is it's going to look in the current view you've got. Okay. Obviously, you might be looking for something specific, and if it can't find it in this view, mm -hmm. it's going to go and check the other views for you, in other locations and in processed orders. Cool. So if, for example, I swap to a different view, it's going to say that it's not found. Okay, it's not found any orders in that view for what I've searched for, no. but it has found orders in a different view. Yep. Cool. Okay, so let's go back into my open orders then. Um, I'll get rid of that search. Uh, so what else have we got um, to look at in the next feature? So uh, the quick filters, I think. This is something that's been asked for quite a lot. Quick filters, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Um, so where are they? Uh, so if you go to the far right, mm -hmm. you've got a little that one uh, there, filter button. Yep. Cool. So if you click on it, we will get a list of things you can filter on. Makes sense, yeah. So if yep. I just wanted to filter on, let's say, shipping, shipping service, FedEx. Yep, just click on that and, and hit gonna, apply. Okay, hit apply. And it's filtered. Okay, so it's one of my FedEx orders. Yep. Awesome. Okay, um, um, I'm guessing you can reverse that as well. Yeah, so if you want to, if say, you just click it again, you've search got... for everything that isn't FedEx. Correct. And I can go through and do quite a few of those. So everything that's FedEx and Parcel Force. Yep. And other stuff as well. And do yeah, so FedEx day. and Parcel Force or FedEx and not Parcel Force. So you can combine them together. And it's not just shipping, I can do... No, you can do anything in there. Um, we've got quite a lot in there at the moment. And obviously we're always looking for more things in it. Cool. 
Okay, so that's a quick filter. Let's have a look at the views though. So these views up here, these views, um, they're not going to be carried across from the old one. These are, I need all new views. Yeah, so yeah. These, these are brand new views because the, the actual filters themselves, we've, we've tried to optimize them. So they're slightly different. Okay, so let's go and hit new view. Yep. Um, let's just call this one FedEx. Let's look at my FedEx orders. Okay, so it's created my FedEx view, but obviously I haven't filtered this yet. Yep. Um, so how do I filter it? So if you click on the cog in the left. Okay. And. Cool. So on the left here, I'm guessing that's everything that I want to see. Yep. So that's everything that can be filtered on or displayed. Uh, it's in there. Cool. So let's say I don't want to see totals. Just deselect um, it. And then customers, I don't want to see the address lines. Get rid of those as well. Yep. Why not? Okay, cool. Um, so the last thing I want to do, I actually want to filter this still down on my FedEx orders. Yep. So shipping, yep. vendor. vendor, add a filter. Add a filter, yep. Um, is FedEx. Correct. Nice and easy, easier than easier than before. Yep, so also you can see that's sort of, there's a load of selections there as well. Yep. So you don't just have to choose one if you want to say a raw mail as well. You oh, can okay. choose that as well. Cool. Um, what's happening down the bottom here? What's this? So this is the, the preview of the grid. Right. Um, so initially we have the old one was you'd select a load of filters and things and you didn't know what it looked like until you hit save. So we've tried to give you a live preview and you can also interact with it. Okay. So if you want to resize in columns, if you want to move them around, you can do that. So I can just move that one over there. Oh, didn't do it. Yep. Cool. Um, so I can customize that all in there. Yep. Um, I'm guessing just like uh, filters sorting is the same thing yeah, as well. It's exactly so the same. If I just want to sort by order ID, go whack that on. And on the right here, it looks like it's showing me what I've got. Yep, so that's that's a complete summary. Um, Save so you having to keep drilling down through the menu. You mm -hmm. can see what's already there and you can sort of switch between them just by clicking on them. Cool. Um, should I save this? Yep, go for it. Nice. So I've got my new view with FedEx in them. So let's look at what I can do to actually action some of these now. Let's say I want to print some invoices. Yep. Um, so I can't seem to select them like I used to, or right click. No, so if you look on the far left, you've got this sort of empty column. Yeah. And if you just go and click on that, you've got- oh, Okay, so that's how I select the orders. Yeah, so this this has been uh, this has been built to sorry, with tablets in mind. Um, so we want to be able to have people that can actually touch and interact. Mm -hmm. And obviously that's quite hard with the old right click system. Yeah. So, so where's my where's my menu of options gone? So you've selected some items and up in the top right you'll see an actions button is flashing. Okay. Yep. Click that. Oh that's that's familiar. Yeah. That looks like the right click menu. Yep. Okay, cool. So I could just go through and print invoices. You can do that. Um is this is that the only way to do that? No, um, so that um or? obviously that's going to get quite tedious, quite monotonous if you're doing that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So if you were to go back into the view editor, you could go through the exact same menu system. You can add a new button, give it a name. Yep. Oh, go, okay. to, go to the buttons tab. Cool. Uh, buttons. Yep. And you and can add, add in there. Here. And you can add a button with a name awesome. and so action could, and so on. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep. Right. So I can add my hot buttons. Um, so I suppose last thing then, if I wanted to select a bunch of these and do an action, um, that's all of them. Yeah, all of them yeah, orders. Yeah, all of those orders. In the past, if I was to do something in bulk like that, yeah. um, it would take a while and it would lock down the screen while it I was would, doing yeah. it. It would, yeah. Is that the case? No, so if you take an action now, it will um, it will run in the background. So okay. what we've got is we've got the concept of jobs, which is in, uh, there is a bottom, uh, button in the bottom right, yeah. which you, you can click on, you don't have to. Um, yeah, it will just show you what's queued, what's currently being done, and the status of sort of what happened to the job and any errors on it. So I could pick a thousand orders yep. and set them all to process, and I won't have to wait while they're processing. No, it That'll will just happen in the background. It will just queue them up and sort of get to it after each action in turn. Awesome. Um, okay, that's yeah. that's a lot quicker then. Yeah. Great. So we've got it in this state at the moment. What's the plan for it? Have we got a release date? What are we doing with it now that it's in this state? So we don't have a complete public uh, release date yet, mm -hmm. but we're, as of next week, we're going to start testing with our early adopters program. Okay. And yeah, we're looking for feedback from there. Cool. So once that's been tested, it's gone through early adopters and you're happy with it, it will then be released after that. But as of yet, no ETA. No, no ETA. Okay, cool. So that's probably it for our limb focus. 
as I said, there's not a lot of different features, but this is a pretty big feature to look through it's uh, this <laughs> month. Um, it's definitely going to affect a lot of users um, using the open order screen because we know it's used a lot. Um, so as I said, yeah, that's it for LinFocus. Um, if you've noticed as well, uh, we're actually, a couple of the guys in the LimWorks office are raising money for Movember. Um, the basic idea of Movember is that you grow a mustache for the month of November um, to raise money for things like prostate cancer. So if you'd like to support that, we'll just leave a link in the description of the video um, and we can, hope, yeah, hopefully expect your donations. That'd be great. Um, okay, so yeah, that's it for LimFocus. Uh, we'll see you next month. Bye.